Hey everyone, Mr. MC here. This is a guide for round 5 of the 2022 Nations Cup Stage 2 taking place at Fuji International Speedway with any Group 1 car. The car we'll be using is a Porsche 919 Hybrid. Fuel and tire water times 1, 12 lap race with a rolling start. All tires are available to be used, no tire requirement, no mandatory pit stop. So this is an open strategy except the track is going to be a little wet and depending on your session, it may be raining as well. But anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the lap guide. Uh, be aware that I have counter steer assist on strong to help me out under these wet conditions. Traction control is at one and pay attention to the wind direction and speed as it'll really affect on where you need to brake and how fast you can take some of these corners. But anyways, brake before the 150 meter board. So brake as much as you can for a long time. Slowly making way down to first gear for a bit more rotation, but exit on third gear. Just carefully getting on the throttle to make sure that the assists don't kick in too hard and slow you down. Then brake just after you reach the 100 meter board. You're not braking for too long. You're taking advantage of the car's downforce, so 75% braking power for a short moment. Lots of throttle control through 100R. Be aware of where the wind is going because this turn is greatly affected by the wind direction and speed. Then brake just after the curb on the right starts, so full braking power for a short while. Slowly easing off of the brakes as you're turning in. Get the car pointing where you want to go and then get on the throttle as soon as you can. Then brake before you go under the big Dunlop sign. So right now we're actually getting quite a bit of headwind. So brake before you go under the Dunlop sign. You can take advantage of the curves, especially on the inside of the turn. Go down to first gear, then up to second gear and just carefully getting on the throttle. Go up to third gear, being more careful on the throttle. Then start slowing down when you reach the turf that is on the left, around 50% braking power and just letting the car coast through this turn, just trying to be really careful on the throttle, being aware of the hybrid power that this car has. Then brake when the curb on the left ends, lots of braking control or trail braking, just trying to be really careful through here, careful on the throttle, and then look for this path that is on the right, and that's where you want to start to brake. Lots of trail braking, braking control. Just trying to be really careful to here. Get the car strained up and then fully accelerate your way out on third gear. So this lap was done as my first lap. So this was about a minute to two minutes into the session. And this was just before more rain came in as you can see on the uh, radar on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. As for suggesting a race strategy, this is where it gets extremely difficult because we have dynamic weather. So on some races, you might get some rain showing up in your race. On other races, you may not even see a drop of rain appear in the race. Uh, the wind direction and speed is going to be especially important with these Group 1 cars as they carry a lot of downforce. And the wind direction and speed will greatly affect how fast you can take a corner. Uh, Probably the most evident example of this is 100R, so I think it's turn 4 if I remember correctly. So this turn that we're going through, uh, if you're getting a lot of headwind into this turn, uh, you're getting more downforce so you can carry a bit more speed. If you're getting tailwind into 100R, you need to be a bit more careful as you now have less downforce as you're going through that turn. And that's not accounting for dirty air because if you're under someone's dirty air, so the slipstream range, which is around three quarters of a second between yourself and them, you're getting even less downforce. So you're going to be under steering even more. And with these wet conditions, it can get a bit more sketchy as you navigate through these turns. And you really want to pay attention to the weather radar. As soon as you join the session and start qualifying, look at the weather radar because if I remember correctly, what you see for the weather in the uh, qualifying session is what you're going to see in the race session. You also want to pay attention to the track wetness indicator on the bottom left hand corner of the screen because if the track dries up, then you'll see that bar lower down a lot. And if it goes so far down to the point where it basically disappears, then you're basically racing on a dry track and that could open up for you one step to be possible. 
it's going to vary on each session so it may not happen in your race it may happen in your race so i'm just giving you all the information because of the dynamic weather uh, we don't know what's going to happen in the race so it's going to be different for each and every single one of us and even the session is going to be different and in case the track dries up so fast that racing soft tires are uh, a viable strategy now, the pit loss is around 19 seconds for a tire change. So that's something that you want to keep in mind in case the track dries up really fast, really early on in the race to where a racing soft stint is viable. Again, it may not be viable in your race, the track may still remain wet throughout the entire time, or it may dry up really fast. But for example, in this race, so after 12 laps just running around in time trial, uh, the track didn't dry up that much. So pretty much for this session, intermediate tires were the way to go the entire time. And this was with rain never showing up. It was always kind of off screen, but it never rained in my race. And that was also with a bit of tailwind. And now I'm getting a bunch of headwind down the main straight. And this run was with a bunch of rain. So you can see the weather radar on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. There's a bunch of rain. It's going to be like that for the entire time. Uh, interestingly, the track slowly got wetter as the race went on, but it was never wet enough for the wet tires to be viable. And again, the weather is going to vary in each and every single race, unless polyphony they change something just before the race to where everyone gets one single weather but at least in the time trial session uh, the weather varies the wind direction and speed varies so you have to each you have to take each scenario differently and for example going through here i'm getting tailwind through 100r so i have to be a lot more careful about how i'm taking this turn even almost spinning out so yeah, it's going to be a bit of an interesting race because uh, you have to take a lot of things into account. There's a lot of variables. However, the one constant is that the track wetness seems to start at around 60 to 70%. So this is within the intermediate tire range. So chances are you're probably going to want to start on the intermediate tires. However, I suggest buying every single tire for your car just in case uh, something switches up and a one stop becomes viable. Will it become viable? Who knows because it's going to vary between each and every single race. At least in my runs it was the intermediate tires all the way so I didn't need to stop at all. I just have to be really careful because yeah the rain it can get pretty sketchy. Even more so if it starts to rain in your race. So to summarize, keep a very close eye on your track witness radar, the weather radar itself, the wind speed and direction because those things can change a lot in your race and even on every single session. So chances are you're not going to get the same exact race. One race it might get wetter, one race it might get a little drier. The one constant is that the track wetness seems to start at around 60 to 70 percent wet which is where the racing intermediate tires are going to be useful but again have every other tire ready just in case something changes along in your race but that is going to essentially be it for this guy so there's a lot of variables you need to keep a really close eye on those things because these things can change even at the start of your session they could change right away so you want to be ready to make any sort of changes if necessary but that is it for me hopefully you liked this video and if you did you can press the like subscribe and all that good stuff and i do have a membership program thing that you can check out down below if you want to further support this channel and this is mr mca still melting in this awful heat wave and i'll see you in the next video